What's going on guys, LCG here, back with episode 3 of Beholder. Alright, this is a dystopian apartment manager type game where you essentially spy on everybody and you do horrible, terrible things. Um, we are at a minor crossroads. We need to find somebody to borrow a pot and pan from, which as of right now, I don't know that person is going to be, but we might actually just end up stealing it. And I'm actually, you know what? Can I run up here? Run. There we go. Bingo. You double click and you run. What's this? Who? Oh, hey there, Klaus. Yeah, get out. Where are you headed? And that's when we're going to use this key. We're going to buy couple of cameras. We're going to put them... No. Open up. We're going to put cameras in this house. Bingo. We're going to put one right here. And then we're going to run out because it looks like he's about to come up here. Oh! There we go. Oh, hey! Hey, big guy, why is your door open? I'm not really sure. That's strange, isn't it? Huh. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and pop our head back in. See if we can't find something illegal here so that we don't have to evict him. Maybe we can just call the cops on him and get him arrested. All right? That's what I missed last episode as well. See? Bam. Some things are naturally illegal. I will, I'm gonna kind of speed through this part just because I don't know when its owner is an artist to use these paints recently. So some of these things, the tenant is corresponding with someone who lives abroad. See? With things like that, once you click them, whoop, don't mind me, Miss Shimmer. Let me get that door for you, right? Okay, so we come in here, and what we found out is that he enjoys modeling, and that he likes to draw. But, his wife corresponds with foreigners, right? Oop. And, she plays an instrument. You see how that turned green? Oh, I only have seven hours. Oh, man. And it wants to borrow a pop from the neighbors. So let's go ahead and knock. See if... I didn't realize that that was happening so quickly. I was kind of... In my own little land there. Um, we can use that stuff to now write reports on... On them. Which we get more money for. But really what we want to do... Ask about the saucepan. My wife wants to make a compote. But we lost our saucepan. Bingo! There's no need for this. My husband and I live alone and we don't touch this. Please accept this as my housewarming gift. Look at you. What a sweetheart. Hello! Uh, you're an educated person. Where can I find textbooks on economics? Oh, the issue with the library is well known to me. It's not just a line of blah, blah. Uh, I have books when I worked... I'd be happy if they helped your son study. Everyone should pursue a higher education. Too bad, few people agree. See, look at that. Oh, uh, now there's some my wallet too. Now, as silly as this is, we're gonna work on evicting these butt lunches. Um, Anna wants to borrow a pop from the neighbors. Nope, nope, talk, talk. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna talk to you. Can I talk to you, please? Honey? Honey, will you come out of there, please? Honey, come out of the room. Honey? Okay. Yeah, so what we can do is we can... Yep, that's not gonna tell us anything. All right, oh, oh, we talked about this. We're gonna move somebody in there. I don't know why I just got 
We'll rent a cuddy for a couple of weeks. Well, you're the only uh, option I've got. But we're going to move you in. And I think. Oh, oh no, Anna. All right. Saucepan. Looks like Wario. Not my fault. I couldn't get a provision card for sugar. Okay. And Patrick, come here quick before the timer runs out. Found your books. Wow, I'll get to work. We have dreamed such wealth. The library, I mean. Bingo. Woo! Alright. We made that one. And this guy. Why don't why won't you talk to me? Okay. You can just go ahead and do what you do, I suppose. I'm just gonna go ahead and peep in this door here. Don't mind me, buddy. No, 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 no. I would never oh, he's sleeping. See? Watch the Z's. He's sleeping too. Alright, what about this apartment? I should be paying more attention to when they come and go, but he's sleeping. This is ridiculous. I don't want to talk to her right now. She's been giving me some troubles. Uh, let's see, what can we do right now? Get one more camera. So rather than putting it in a whole new approach, well, I guess I could put one in here if he, uh... Let's peep through the window. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Okay, let's come down here. We'll write a report on the new information we got. Since it doesn't look like anything great's going on right now. I don't like that toll bell. That that really just sets me off. I don't like it. Um, profile on a tenant in apartment three. So this is why I was saying earlier that, um, oh, maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was apartment one. It was apartment one. This is why I was saying it's nice to have a pen and paper ready. Because I didn't realize you could tab back and forth and do all that. So all this stuff is just coming right from her profile. And we'll send that report in. And now we have one we can also write on the husband. Mr. Klaus Schimmer, apartment one, male, lives with Maria Schimmer, occupation, tobacco salesman. Um, from what I can gather, right, so you can't, you can't actually remove it once you put it on there without canceling it and starting all over. A little bit of a pain in the rump, but not the biggest deal. Let's see what the new directive is. Illegal to cry or for more than three people to assemble outside the main square. I don't think we really have a main square. And it looks like I can get away with peeping through doors all day long. I think of that guy. Oop. Let's go ahead and meet him now. Get acquainted. Mom Carl, Jones Pop Bonetto, boasted on coal barge. All right. Anti-propaganda training. Ooh, what's a special offer? Uh, about to leave, yada, yada, yada. It's a free governance for the last decade. We'll stay in the port for a week. Oh, I have a deal. Times are hard. Everyone's doing their best. I have canned fish. You know everyone around here. Find me a buyer and I'll pay you generously. Is it illegal to have canned fish?
Hmm. It looks like we're okay with canned fish. Cool. Here's a crate with 50 cans. The wholesale price is 50 bucks per can. You can sell them for 100 a piece at the market. So the crate costs 3 G's. You give me 3 G's and sell it all. Uh, I don't really know. I should have asked about the quality of the fish, but good news is I plan on evicting him before. And like, or maybe I was blackmail him. I don't know. I want to try that out before too long. So let's go ahead and get some insight on this guy. Blue shirt, jeans. Yup. Bingo. We got this guy. We got him good, boys. Coins. Passport. Watch. He likes to gamble. This guy is not good. This. Oh, no. Good news is we're going to slap a camera up in here, too. This will stay there for a while, but oh, come on, come on, big guy. Salt, I thought that was cocaine. Rum, I don't really see a problem with the rum. Please, all right, it's not even Tubby coming back. A mediocre tobacco. Let's steal that. Whatever. Okay, fine. Did I already look through all this? Yeah, I think I did. Yep. Alright, so I can just boogie on out of it. Actually, you know what? Oh, Rosa. Rosa, Rosa. You should know better. Oop. Actually, I'm not going to bother because you are right there, amigo. Alright. Time to submit my report. Got bad news, Jones Papanetto. All right, so here's here's another little tip that I'd like to uh, bring about. Always profile a tenant before you write a report. So, Jones, who is in apartment four, male, lives alone, occupation, what do we know about him? He's a coal barge bosun information collected all this stuff goes right in here right and that's a lot of moolah two address apartment number at six what what apartment was he four we're gonna see how this goes all right uh 6046 and now this this part right here you have to put the date of the directive not the date that he committed the act all right um which one did i pick oh no foreign music bam Leave $2,000 in the flower pot at the bottom of the stairs. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Oh no, he got his blackmail letter. 
But once we get our money from him, we'll also get him locked up quite quickly. Oh. <laughs> now he's all happy. Look at him. Oh, what are you doing waiting there, buddy? I mean, I'm not going to come collect it while you're standing there. Oop. Tisk tisk, you smoke too. I knew that because I saw your tobacco, but that's not the point. We gotta evict these guys. No, you know what? Let's not do that this episode. We're gonna do that next episode. We still got plenty of time. Go ahead and search in here. What do we find? Boom. Now, we're going to run in here. We're going to get him locked up. And that's how we'll end the episode. Because we are horrible people. Horrible. We're in a dystopian future. We're going to play the game the way it's meant to be played. Uh... Wait a minute. Don't. There we go. I didn't realize you could scroll there. And he's in apartment number four. He violated directive number. Oh. It is illegal to possess fish. Oh no! Okay. Uh, 6045. From. 5 September 1984. Because he did have blue jeans. Well, although we didn't tell him about one. Actually. Yeah, we'll send this one in. Alright, everybody, as this happens, I want to remind you thank you for tuning in. Stay happy, stay healthy. For the duration of watching this series, Beholder. Don't forget to eat your corn pops, I believe it was. Corn pops? That's how we're going to stay happy this series. Looks like we're going to need it. This stuff is brutal. So, in the meantime, while they tear his apartment apart, I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. Check me out on YouTube and or VidMe. Whichever one you're not already watching, check me out on the other one, alright? Thank you very much for tuning in, and I look forward to making some more episodes of Beholder with you all. Take care.